Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. This episode, I want to share something with you guys. So I've remixed these feet uh, for the uh, uh, 3DR Solo. So uh, on, on Thingiverse, I found a set of uh, extension feet. Now, what are extension feet? As you guys might recall, the Solo comes with these smaller rubber feet that go on the ends. Now, I've already put two on the front, and I kind of want to show you guys how they go on. So you just pop these off by pulling these out and then sliding it back. You can see there's a little notch in here that it locks into, and very much like how these are. And then what happens is you just take these on. You take these on, yeah, all right? I mean, just slide these on, and it kind of snaps and kind of pops in. You might have to put a little bit of pressure. And then we're going to do the other one. And the same way, just a little bit of pressure and they snap on. Now removal, if you want to take these off, is the same way. You just basically pull these apart at the uh, at the ends. You may have to take something like this dental hook. This is what I use to actually remove these to get underneath and just pop them off. Because you can see how it grips onto these um, little protrusions that are in the copter's legs themselves. But anyways, once you do that, now what we have is a setup like this where if I get this all in here, we can actually sit the, um, the copter on these legs and the um, SJ cam, 360 cam, or typical other 360 cam that's in this configuration is not going to hit the ground. So the, the copter sits very nicely in the ground, keeps it up off the ground, and we can now fly the SJ Cam 360 on here like this in this orientation. Because as you might recall, I did a video a while ago where I had it turned up. That did not work out very well because of the uh, vibration in the copter. Where with this, the vibration is going to be the axis, axis of that vibration is going to be changed to the vertical. And I think it's going to give a lot better performance um, rather than trying to stitch together what's right in the center of your plane of view. So anyways, I'll have these out on Thingiverse. So you can go ahead, you can download them, print them off if you'd like. Uh, I also have the mount here for the SJ Cam in another file. I'll have links to both of these below in the descriptions. So if you're a 3DR pilot and you want to fly a 360 camera, uh, I think this is the best way to do it. And also if you want to uh, you know, put another larger camera or something, a larger payload section down here, I think these legs will come in handy. So anyways, let me know what you guys are thinking about for lunch. Give this a big thumbs up and hey, we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.